This is a demonstration of using zipper tubing Z-block tape to water block a electrical wire bundle. Um, to perform this procedure we're going to use uh, standard PRT tubing. It could also be done with standard shrink tubing and uh, zipper tubing Z-block tape. This is a polyimid hot melt uh, adhesive that will flow un when exposed to heat and fill, fill gaps and voids. Um, I suggest that you go to zippertubing.com and review the PRT installation uh, data sheet, uh, especially when it comes to sizing uh, the zipper tubing. Uh, you need to get the correct size and you definitely want the the tubing to be on the little bit on the large size. Now I have a half inch cable here so I'm going to use the number five PRT for this process. Also there's a specific water blocking document on the website as well which is also downloadable that will walk you through the steps of, of installing the Z-Block uh, hot melt tape. This process can be done on um, single conductor large cable uh, or it can also be on be done on multi-conductor cables. Uh, this demonstration is going to be on multi-strand cable. It's a little more complex and involves uh, weaving, uh, weaving the hot melt uh, tape in and out of the individual strands so that there is enough adhesive system present to fill all the voids. One of the disadvantages to using standard adhesive line shrink tubing is that there is not generally enough adhesive to fill all the voids in a cable. Um, I have a sample cable here um, and just under this situation um, I'm going to water block this area. This might be in an engine compartment or something and going through a firewall and the desire is to keep the cable soft and flexible as much as possible but keep moisture from working its way up into the wire harness. So what I've done here is I've taken uh, the standard two inch wide uh, Z-block tape and I've just cut it approximately an inch wide to make, uh, make it easy to work with. What I'm going to do is splay out the cable and weave the material in and out. The amount of adhesive that you need to use is um, is an experience thing. It's, uh, it's hard to know exactly how much to use. You do want to maintain uh, the bundle diameter uh, such that you don't build up such a large diameter that the PRT tubing will want to split open this can be controlled to some degree by uh, 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 how you heat the part, recognizing that the bundle may be somewhat larger than, uh, than you, you would normally size the tubing for. But essentially all I've done is weave it in and out, trying to get um, more adhesive on the uh, installation than I might just uh, from uh, wrapping around the outside. Um, any, any strand that doesn't have some adhesive around it potentially can leak. And so that looks pretty good. Let's just leave it at that. Um, now when you after you've woven the, the tape in and out a little bit, uh, you can wrap the remainder around the outside. Um, I typically like to what have I got going here? I like to get a couple lines. Um, the the thing to keep in mind, typically I have about an inch to inch and a half width. Um, and I just want to make sure that I get uh, uh, quite a bit of adhesive there. Now you can see that the diameter of the bundle has grown somewhat. Uh, that's just something to be keep in mind. 
that it's going to want to split your tubing open if you're not careful. Uh, okay, now, again with all PRT tubings, you want to use a reducer to concentrate the heat on the overlap seam of the uh, PRT tubing. I'm also going to use the hot air gun here to hold the hot melt tape uh, in place by heating it up, heating the heat gun up and just touching the, uh, uh, the adhesive. generally get it to stick to itself so that it holds itself together. Now because this cable is short I'll just cut a short piece of uh, the tubing again the big advantage of doing this is when you're done this whole area will be water blocked no moisture will go on up the cable but the rest of the cable will remain somewhat flexible uh, if you were to use an adhesive line tubing or use this adhesive all the way along this would be would bind the assembly and make it very very conduit like so I'm going to install the PRT tubing in the standard fashion as described in the installation instructions we're going to peel the release liner back about an inch and overlap the adhesive and get it lined up here usually getting started is the most difficult part of the whole process Once we get it along, we just cover the adhesive, uh, trying to line the overlap edge up with the adhesive edge. And, and just again, as in standard PRT tubing, we're going to rub the area uh, good with our thumb and get it worked down well. Now, what I'm going to do is um, sometimes it's advantageous to um, hit the hot melt adhesive a little bit with uh, the hot air gun before you locate the, the tubing over it. Uh, this allows you to let some of that adhesive soak in without putting the load on the uh, PRT overlap flap. And as you can see, it's starting to melt and now there's no compression on this, so uh, now I'm going to pull my uh, uh, tubing over it, and if I do this right, I don't make a big mess. Actually, I think I may want to. Again on PRT tubing, I'm just applying the heat to the overlap flap area only. And it's desirable to let this area cool down a little bit prior to uh, uh, pursuing the uh, slowly apply heat to the hot melt area and make sure it gets good and hot so the adhesive flows. 
Now I have a big blob there sticking out, but that's not necessarily undesirable. 